Uh, the crap. Other fridge. Yeah, the people are saying you definitely got on the area. <laughs> okay, I, I can tell, apparently. I think she noticed me looking at her. She sneaks another glance at me and her eyes meet for a split second. Dot, dot, dot. But that only makes her hide her face deeper in her books. Sorry. I was just pacing out. This is not the accent this is, again. This is getting a little Irish. This is getting problematic. Oh, boy. I'm a fucking yaoi! Me too. Oh, boy. I mutter that seeming, sensing I made her uncomfortable. Oh. It, it's fine. I was just focused. If I was just if I was focused, then I probably wouldn't have noticed in the first place. But I was too busy staring at your fucking. Yeah, how big your dick might be. I don't know. You're gonna have to show me later. That's that's this game. <laughs> don't lie. That's, that is I was, game. I, was, I was just focused by your increasingly bland face and how I'm wondering how I'm ever possibly attracted to it. But then again, I could also never figure out why I like Sword Art Online either. Cush Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Are no. you watching the stream? I'm just rereading a bit no, of this, I'm so. Like That's fair. Wait, so That's the book you gave me, right? Wait, wait, wait. We spent so much time trying to come up with a name and you went with Kushlord? Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Okay. I wanted to reread some of it. N not for any particular reason. Uh, just. I'm just curious. How come you have two copies of the same book? Do you want me to go back to Goofy? Would that make you happy? None of no, your I fucking business. Uh, uh, well, when I stopped at the bookstore yesterday, don't even uh, that's that not right. what I meant. Uh, I mean, don't even try to insinuate Erin Arlen who likes SAO. She does not. She likes no. SAO abridged. Yeah, I like SAO abridged. Fuck original, original SAO. SAO. Except I, your I just happened to buy two of them. I see. Oh, no, yeah. see, you know what pissed me off? SAO was my, I think it was, it was my second full anime that I ever watched. And I didn't even fucking finish it, because the second arc was such garbage and I'm angrily stabbing Broccoli. And Asuna had so much potential and I was fucking gay for her ass. And then Kirito was like, oh, you know what we should do? We should take all this really amazing writing and all this amazing music. And you know what we should do? We should fucking make it all about how I gotta fuck every single female character in this game. Like, everything about the show is good except for the plot and protagonist. <laughs> <laughs> Respectfully disagree with that. Yeah. <laughs> the first half of the first season isn't bad. It's not bad. It's not great either. Because you were like, okay, maybe they're gonna be like partners or something, and then it's still like Kirito saves the day always. Yeah. When like Austin is the one who did like the final blow on the first boss when she didn't even know how to fucking play the game. Like Kirito, stop sucking your own dick for five minutes and yeah, maybe pay attention show. to someone else. Yeah. Yeah, he's very flexible. He can dual wield. <laughs> he can dual wield. <laughs> like damn, no one else can do. That. He can hold two swords at the same time. <laughs> too bad he can't. No! Too bad he can't hold a conversation. <laughs> oh my god. god. Ask, do you want to ask you if you watch the SAO movie? <laughs> There's a movie. Yeah. 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 Kirito's bad at sword fighting because it's. AR. Thank you, Kush Lord X Aaron, for following. <laughs> Once it starts to pick up, you might find you have a hard time putting it down. It's a very engaging and relatable story, and how will a young woman kidnaps a man that she has a crush on because she has no idea how to talk about her feelings, and ultimately accidentally kills him. Yeah. I swear to God, they're in the next door, gonna come here and be like, hey, fucking stop. They're dead. I was convinced that they were like, shut up, you grandma. Can you get like those profiles missions every single time Ollie dies to you? like 35. What's it about? Stop! 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 Oh god. Yuri closes the book and scans her eyes over the back. The book is titled Portrait of Markov. There's an ominous looking eye symbol on the front cover. Alright. I just wanted to make sure I don't actually give anything away. Basically, it's about this girl in high school who moves in with her long lost younger sister. Because her younger sister has a property for some reason and no one ever literally looks into that. <laughs> but as soon as she does so, her life gets really strange. She gets targeted by these people who escape from a human experiment prison, and while her life is in danger, she needs to desperately choose who to trust. No matter what she does, she ends up destroying most of her relationship, and her life starts to fall apart. That's kind of... Oh. <laughs> That's kind of dark, isn't it? No. Yuri made it sound like it was going to be a nice story, so dark, so that dark turn came out of nowhere. <laughs> Yuri gently giggles all of a sudden. Are you not a fan of that sort of thing, Kush Lord? No, it's not that. I mean, I can definitely enjoy those kinds of stories, so don't worry. I, I hope so. I only ever fucking write these. 
Just be glad I don't talk like this 24-7. Oh okay, I gotta give a quick shout out to the person who fucking said Aaron X goes for shit named Shishini Ponds of Dagon. Oh god. Smoke weed, smoke weed, smoke, smoke weed every day. She's so shy and reclusive on the outside, but her mind seems to be completely different. It's just that those kinds of stories. Same. I don't even know what fla what face it is. Neither do I. It looks like a. Oh God. Oh, I know what it is. What is that? I know what it is. What? Hold on. What's the Hobson Castle? Thank you for following. It's the disappointed. Is it? <laughs> I think is so. It? I think so. I just. No. I know it's not showing up I don't on know. stream. It's just showing up on Twitch for whatever reason. So yeah. I'm gonna like. It might be the game, but I'm just. It's not the game. I don't care. Yeah, it's not the game. Okay, it's gone now. Okay. It's gone. Okay. What did you do? Well. I just closed, minimized it, and opened it up again, and released the Satan into my computer. Well, that horrible things happen, happen not just because someone wants to be evil, but because they have their own goals or their own philosophy that they believe in. Then suddenly, when you thought you were the related to the protagonist, you related to the protagonist, they're made out to be the naive one for letting their one-sided morals interfere with the villain's plans. I, I'm rambling, aren't I? Not again. I'm sorry. Hey, don't apologize. I haven't lost interest or anything, well... I guess it's alright then. But I feel like I should really let you know that I have this problem. When I let things like books and writing fill my thoughts, I kind of forget how to pay attention to other people. So I'm sorry if I ended up saying something strange. And please stop me if I start talking too much! That's... I really don't think you'll need to worry. This just means you're passionate about reading. The least I can do is listen. It's a literature club, after all. And also, I probably want to bang your hunk of bunkers. <laughs> because was Goofy was a <laughs> Because Goofy was banned. <laughs> Goofy is black Why the hell Well, that's true. <laughs> In fact... <laughs> I might as well get started with reading it, right? You don't have to! Uh, uh, what are you saying? Just a moment ago, you said you were looking forward to it. Uh, Let me just get the book. I quickly retrieved the book that I had put into my bag. Alright, it's fun if I sit here, right? I slip into the seat next to Yuri's. Ah! Uh, yeah. Are you sure? You seem a little apprehensive. That's... I'm sorry. I never imagined you being this close while awake. <laughs> <laughs> you smell different when you're awake. <laughs> it's not that I don't want you to, it's just something I'm not very used to. That is, reading in company with someone. I see. Well, just tell me if I end up distracting you or anything. No, I just don't have any friends. Uh, Alright. I, I open the book and, starting the, and start the prologue. I soon understand what Yuri means reading in company. It's as if I can feel her presence over my shoulder as I read. It's not a particularly bad thing. Maybe a little distracting, but the feeling is somewhat comforting. Until there's a knife at my throat. I realize that she's not actually looking at her own book. I glance over. It looks like she's reading from my book instead. S sorry I, I was just- Yuri, you really apologize a lot, don't you? I, I do? I don't really need to. Sorry. Okay, why is this you? I know! <laughs> we literally had this guy I mean, with you, we are like, Aaron, you probably just have to go like, yeah, sorry! Yeah, eh, eh, eh. uh, this should work, right? I slide my desk until it's up against Yuri's and hold my book more between the two of them. Uh, I suppose so. Her voice is getting higher. Yes. <laughs> well, the end is gonna be easy. Yeah, Yuri definitely <laughs> closes her own copy. Uh, Once we each lean in a little bit, our shoulders are almost touching. It feels like my left arm is in the way, so instead I use my right hand to hold the book open. How the fuck are they sitting? Is she on her his right? Like, what the- I, I don't- they, they show, um, there's a guy okay. on the screen yeah. I guess that makes it kind of difficult to turn the page. Fuck. <laughs> Here. Yeah, see. Man, you can't even see them. Yeah. Yuri takes her left arm and holds the left side of the book, which- Oh, no, yeah, he's on the right. Yeah, he's on the right. Thumb and forefinger. I do the same with my right arm on the right side of the book. Hello again! Thank you, Aaron. All you need is Monica. <laughs> <laughs> but in holding it like this- we're huddled even closer together than before! No spoilers, guys. Don't, don't spoil anything for later. Anything. It's actually kind of distracting me! My magnum dog can't handle it! <laughs> Puns of Dankage is now following! Oh no! God bless. You have 51 people watching this shit. Good. It's as if I can feel the warmth of Yuri's face, and she's in the corner of my vision. I've never I... been this close to a girl before! Are you ready? Eh? 
to turn the page. Leia, oh, yeah, sorry. I think I got a bit distracted for a second. I glance over at Yuri's face and her eyes meet. I don't know how I'll be able to keep up with her. Ah, oh, that's okay. You're not as used to reading, right? I don't mind being patient if it takes you a little longer. It's probably the least I can do. Since you've been so patient with me, we've only known each other for a day and already you're okay with me being a fucking asshole. Dabs. Y yeah. We have one more until we yes. Almost okay. We continue reading. So Yuri no longer reading, asks me if I'm ready to turn the page. Instead, I just assume that she finished the page before me, so I turn note by my own volition. We continue the first chapter in silence. Even so, turning each page almost feels like an intimate exchange. My thumb gently letting go. Okay, that's porn. Um, hey Yuri, this might be a silly thought, but the main character kind of reminds me of you a little bit. You think so? How does she? Well, I guess she's more blunt in a lot of ways, but she also second-guesses all the things she says and does. Like she's afraid she'll do something wrong. It's not like I can see into your head or anything, but they're kind of reminiscent to some of your mannerisms. I see. You have me completely figured out, Baka. <laughs> Fuck, I have to kill you now. You remain silent for a moment. But, Kush Lord, that's probably... a terrible thing to have in common with her. A bit. Oh, that's so embarrassing that you think that. Wait! I didn't mean it in a bad way or anything. Sorry, I really didn't know you were self-conscious about that sort of thing, because God forbid a woman have actual emotions. <laughs> I guess I meant it that it's kind of cute. Hello again. Thank you, Enge Energetic Akita, for following! Ah! Uh, what are you saying all of a sudden? I... Okay, everyone. Oh, Let's not sorry. get our dicks out of our jeans too early. Alright, Yuri, fuck off. He's mine. I think it's about time we share today's poems with each other. We might not have enough time if we wait too long. Ah. Yuri exhales, spared from finishing her thought. Is that alright, Yuri? You look kind of down. I'm sorry if you haven't been looking forward to this. Uh, it's... it's not, uh... it's fine. Yuri releases her hand from the book, causing it to close on top of my thumb. Savage! <laughs> Alright, I guess I'll do some more reading tonight, or would you prefer I only read it with you? Ah! Uh, I, I guess I don't have too much of a preference either way, but please read it together so I can literally just stare here looking at you and not actually reading the book at all. Hmm. In that case, I'll read a little more tonight. It'll be more fun to read with you after it picks up a bit, you know? That's good reasoning. Look at you growing a brain. I'm not gonna finish the rest of that sentence. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not gonna finish it. No. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Don't worry Don't about, worry about, about it. it. Was it in the dialogue? Don't. No, no, it was Aaron was trying to make a joke, and then we... we and then I realized it was a grave mistake. We shut that joke down. It's gone now. It's dead. Don't worry about it. In that case, feel free to finish the first two chapters in your own time. Alright. I stand up. I make a mental note of where I left off the book and slip it back into my back. Fucking fold the corner, asshole. By the way, did you remember to write a poem last night? Oh shit. Oh shit, forgot. I fucking forgot. I just. I was too busy If by I my just side. read the lines of the fucking yaoi I have in my back, do you think I can get away with it? That's poetry, right? I mean, all of the moaning rhymes. Yeah. <laughs> I just did the thing where you know, like the S that you draw on a big liquid sperm symbol. I just did like 50 times. The cheese <laughs> of truth. <laughs> He literally, oh. he literally just did the cheese of truth. Oh god. I need more broccoli. Why do you still like a little bit of popcorns here that you haven't touched? Because I'm gonna eat them later. Can I have half of them? Yeah. Dope! Yeet! Dopey, dopey, literature, bud. Kush. Fuck. Well, now that everyone's ready, why don't you find someone to share with? I can't wait! Sayori and Monica enthusiastically pull out their poems. Sayori's on a wrinkled sheet of loose leaf torn from a spiral notebook. On the other hand, Monica wrote hers in a composition notebook. I can already see Monica's pristine handwriting from where I sit. Natsuki and Yuri reluctantly comply as well, reaching into their bags. I do the same myself. Well, I mean, we're already in this hellhole. Yeah, you, you don't, well, okay, yeah, you don't have to pick Yuri, but like, you Whatever. Can, yeah. I can trust her opinion, to be fair. Yeah. 
As Yuri reads the poem, I notice her eyes lighten. Exceptional. Eh, what was that? Huh? Hello again. Hello. Puns of Dankage beat me, I am sad. <laughs> what? Whoa! I mean, mood, but whoa! Did I say that out loud? I... I'm Shigaraki from Boku no Hero Academia! <laughs> He's gonna hate me. Um, bless you, Taco. You really didn't do anything wrong, Yuri. Taco is this. Eh? That's... I guess you're right. What am I getting so nervous for? <laughs> Yuri takes a breath. <laughs> so, what kind of writing experience do you have? Your use of imagery and metaphors indicates you've written a lot of poetry before. Really? Well, that's a huge compliment coming from you. I mean, I've never read your writing, but I'm assuming that your hunka bunkers are filled I mean, with literature you seem very knowledge. Smart and also very, very hot, so I'm going to just take the compliment. This is my first time, really. Huh? Oh, okay, they meant, so if you're going to say beat me, I'm sad they meant beat them to the username, not like. Oh, okay. I was like. Eating. Ew. I mean, well, I know that. I, I just meant, uh, um. I meant it's like punch? <laughs> yeah. Okay. This is the reason I was able to tell. It's just that there's specific writing habits that are usually typical of new writers. And having been through that just, myself, sucks. I kind of learned to pick up on them. It's like when you talk to a toddler and you can immediately tell they have no sense of neurocognition. You know, like reading this, I can see there's no sense of grammar or thought, or you, it seems like you wrote this right before you walked into the classroom. You write better than the In other words, <laughs> they, tend to figure, <laughs> they tend to figure writing style separate from the topic matter, and they forfeit the two together. The end result is in both the style and the expressiveness are weakened. So which I don't it know, sucks. That's what I'm trying to say. So I don't know sucks. why I fucking complimented you earlier, honestly. Yo, we gotta wait for that good 69. We gotta wait for a really, really good quality. Yeah, we gotta wait. We gotta Her wait. stammering is completely gone. She sounds like an expert. Of course, that's not something you can be blamed for. There are many different skills and techniques that go into writing a simple poem. Not just finding them and building them, but getting them to work together is probably the most challenging part. It might take you some time, but it all comes with practice and... <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> it all comes with practice and learning by example and trying new things. I also hope that everyone else in the club gives you valuable feedback. That's a good can be a little biased, though. Biased? Hell. Uh, well, never mind. I shouldn't be talking about people like that. Sorry. I don't want to go into discussion of a tiny pink gremlin's dick fetish. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you're just in the corner like, hey, don't make fun of my mango. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I'm not sure if Yuri is apologizing to herself or to me or to Natsuki. Do you mind if I read your poem now? Please do. I want to show up your fucking useless ass. <laughs> I'd love to share my thought process behind it. Yuri smiles dreamily, it's a rare opportunity. This has slowly turned into a mini mouse. A little bit. <laughs> Which is, you know. This stuff is kind of funny. After all, this isn't supposed to be a light literature club. The music just completely changed. Okay. The tendrils of my hair illuminate beneath the amber glow. Bathing. It must be this one. The last remaining streetlight to have withstood the test of time. The last yet to be replaced by the sickening blue-green hue of the future. I bathe. Uh, I'd hope so. Calm. <laughs> I sure hope you do. <laughs> It does. <laughs> the uh, present, but living in the past. The light flickers. I flicker back. This is like the stereotypical, like edgy ass high school girl poetry where she's like, I'm sorry. So good at writing. I have such terrible <laughs> handwriting. Yeah. What? <laughs> I wasn't thinking about that at all. I was wondering how a fucking person can flicker, but I mean, okay. I was just like, this seemed kind of dark and edgy, but you I, know, I guess I take it as well, it comes. I just don't read script very often. I actually think your handwriting is pretty. <laughs> That's a relief. And here I thought I'd have to wait a couple weeks to fuck you. <laughs> also, I like the poem, but mostly your handwriting and your badonka donkers. <laughs> Why are they I have a so hand for people who haven't gotten their GEDs yet? <laughs> 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 what is your, like, college applications like? <laughs> like, hello, I'm Yuri, here's my college essay. Right? Things that are interesting about you. Oh. I met a boy once at the literature club. <laughs> 
my thirst went from I need to watch this desert. for like a solid <laughs> Oh my god Five minutes I can't take listening Okay no, no, black room, Even no, though wait, it's short, it's do, really no, descriptive. That wasn't it yet. It's gonna be cool that makes us all die laughing. We gotta fucking wait for 60 minutes. It wasn't too like short. Shit. You're the poem, I mean, not your dick. Should I think I'm hot flash? <laughs> She's in here. <laughs> 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 like, maybe that one? That was like it. Oh my god. Cush <laughs> those coon, forgive me, but oh I'm afraid the winner at your club always yeah, meets when I'm in heat. That's Longer poems. Not at all. I, I'm really glad you like it. I'll be honest. Since it's our first time sharing, <laughs> I wanted to write something a little more mild. What the fuck? Something easy to digest, I suppose. Nothing quite as kinky as the last thing I shared last week. <laughs> Are you into ghosts, Yori? Yes, I want them to fuck me up the ass. <laughs> oh, God. She'd be really into Terry <laughs> <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Seen in Poltergeist? That's like my dream. <laughs> Actually, the story isn't about a ghost at all. Oh Thank you, Allie. I am good at making users. All I'm good at is make. Oh, yeah. All I'm good at is making users. I thought someone was my fan, and I was gonna be like, "Hey, <laughs> really? <laughs> I must have totally missed the point." You did only glance over it after all with your pointlessly futile man brain. <laughs> but remember that poets often express their own thoughts, feelings, and experiences in their work. They usually do more than tell a simple story or paint a picture. In this case, perhaps the subject of the poem is only being symbolically compared she to a ghost. Poetry. <laughs> she is! <laughs> no, she does that. She's like, I understand literature better than literally all of you. So. She, she's the kind of person who walks into Home Depot and goes, I know more than you. She's yeah. Yeah. Look at her. She's like loosening her. Like, she's so thirsty. Lingering yeah. in her last remaining place of she's comfort, unable to let go of the past, and soon to be left with nothing. That's a lot more solemn, putting it that way. Holy shit. I hadn't no, no, even no, thought of that. That's impressive. Now please stop untying your necktie. I can't fucking have a boner here. <laughs> You're making it a little hard to find. I have to walk home. Uh. Uh? Uh, it's nothing, really. She goes with both hands! Yeah. Also, look at, look at like, the way her hands are drawn. They're like obscenely tiny, and they like just both... She's got Ali's baby hands. <laughs> <laughs> but she's like going like this, and that's like so uncomfortable. Like that all the time. Hey, you want me to stop untying? Let's just. Yeah, let's just get a dress. Yeah. Yours was impressive too, so. Wait, I'm not referring to your poem. <laughs> if anything, I could probably learn a thing or two of you. You can oh, learn several God. things. <laughs> you think so? Wait. You, you think so? This is such low hanging fruit that we're doing constantly. Yeah, of, of course. Oh, I don't have it any other way. What else are you supposed to do with this? You know. You're supposed to do with things that are low hanging. Yeah. I was really nervous about doing all this. No! But in the end, I enjoyed it. I'm going to keep doing my best for you, Kush. Would you please tie your neck tie again? Hey, <laughs> me too. I will bring you Russian share? vodka I smoke. Oh, I have to share to everyone else. You want to show it to you? Yes! Papaka or hello? <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! 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 Oh my god. Let's go ahead. <laughs> Oh my god, I can believe you said that. We're gonna do it to the, we're gonna do it to the, to the, um, fucking Velociraptor. Oh god. Yes! All I, oh, Allie, I, I am a fan of you, you is now following. <laughs> Y'all are nice. But they spelled, he spelled Allie wrong. He spelled Allie wrong, but they tried. That's so nice. I love you. Oh, you are sweet. This is a good poem, Kush Lord. Are you sure it's your first time? Where did this go? <laughs> Is it your first time? She really <laughs> She's a velociraptor now, I told oh you! Okay, her hair is like the most disgusting shade of pink. <laughs> yeah! It's like Pepto Bismol or like very chewed bubblegum. But like yeah, the of course. inside of how I picture like the inside of your stomach. Yeah. See, it just I feel like someone like chewed an entire pack of bubblegum and then left it under a desk. And yeah, that works too. <laughs> yeah, no, her hair is literally if like someone took her entire head and stuck the gum in, like <laughs> Yeah. But like if the gum wand was her entire scalp. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. <laughs> Except her hair looks the most normal out of everyone's. Yeah. Like, Natsuki makes no sense because she has bangs and she has like five sense bangs, and then she's got pigtails. So it's like, it makes absolutely no sense. Her eyes are like piercing my soul, though. Yeah. They all do. Oh, they said I'm sorry I spelled it wrong. It's okay, a lot of people can always read it wrong. It's ALI. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Yeah, Oh my god, that's not how that works! <laughs> oh my god. But that's how it impressed me! Yes! <laughs> well, to be honest, what I was afraid. Did you give her that voice? <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, I was afraid you wouldn't do it seriously. Is she a gremlin? <laughs> yes. She's okay. a gremlin and goes, yes! Oh, I thought you wasn't a bright one at all. Okay, what do you guys think? Velociraptor or Valley Girl? Well, I, I like Prince Ali, Mal Marvelous, she, she likes to read, we Oh my god, stop! <laughs> no! Oh my god. That could be good. I'm <laughs> dying. <laughs> I am. Yeah. I am a hell. Oh Do the god. diva voice for Sayori. I don't have a diva voice. I'm diva! Okay, that's two, that's two for Velociraptor, diva, one for- ready for combat. <laughs> one for Valley Girl. Do the Tracer voice. Live Velociraptor, Valley Girl, Wait, Raptor. Uh, what if it's diva, but it's like- so like, I'm really happy that you I'm really happy you just wrote one LOL. Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> this is a mistake. This is immediately a mistake. It just reminds me of how you're really part of the club now. Yeah. Not to mention that I'm standing in front of you in the club room. Am I Why into is this? Why necessary? Uh, you will, of course. I'm not really into it yet, but that doesn't mean I'll break my promise. Uh. See? It's like I said from life. <laughs> You know? Uh, Trying yeah. new things like this for other people? That's something that only really good people do. Uh, Thanks, Sayori. I'm not sure if Sayori sees the full potential of my motive here. She does yeah, not know I'm only does. here to fuck yeah, random girls. She does. Then again. Sayori knew how thirsty her best friend was, so brought him to the club because she knew he couldn't quit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, and I'm gonna make sure you have lots of fun here, okay? That wouldn't be my way of thanking you. All right, I'm going to hold you to that then. Yes! yes! <laughs> <laughs> now, you read my poem too, right? It just says yes for like three pages. Did it's just her like flesh just like increase. Yeah. It's just, it's just three pages of A's. Don't worry, I'm really bad at this. Yeah, I'm all like... <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just assured that every single girl in this club is 100% ready for him to dick them down. Like, all of them are just like... Oh, wait, okay. someone... Alice is number one. Ali is number one fan. Oh my God. Why do you have so many fans? I'm gonna actually cry. Thank oh, you. nice. Dear sunshine, the way you glow through my blinds in the morning, it makes me feel like you miss me. Kissing my forehead to help me out of bed, yes. making me rub the sleepy from my eyes. Yes. Are you asking me to come out and play? Yes. Are you trusting me to wish away a rainy day? Yes. Are you letting me into your bondage den? Yes. <laughs> I look above, the sky is blue. It's a secret, but I trust you too. Yes. If it wasn't for you, I could sleep forever. Yes. But I'm not mad. I want breakfast. Yes! Mother Susie Gerardo. Yes, please! Bitch, the fuck? We're only on the first round of poems. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, well, how many rounds are there? Uh, <laughs> three! Oh my god. Okay. No. Nope. <laughs> no. yeah. Just a little bit. You can't answer just a little bit to you guys are no question. I forgot to do it last sure. night. Well, at least that makes me feel a little bit better about myself. No, Don't be mean. God, no, Zach. I still try my best. Yes! Why? Zach, no. Oh, my God, Zach. Oh, why? yeah. I didn't Zach. mean to say that it was a bad poem. It oh. came out nice, or how should I put it? It sounds just like you. No. Really? Yeah. It sounds dumb. Especially <laughs> that last line. It sounds pretty I need eggs and toast. Yes. Uh. Even though you are late to school. Oh it's God. bad to skip breakfast. Goals. <laughs> I get all cranky. God, I wish I didn't skip that. No, priority. Well, I guess there's no point in arguing. Ugh. Anyway, thanks for showing for me. Short, literally <laughs> 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 you literally dolphin territory here. <laughs> that was her, that wasn't me. <laughs> this was so much fun. <laughs> Monica's the best. You know my name? It's Monica. 
But next time, I won't forget. And I'm going to write the best poem ever. Well, I guess I look forward to it.